If you need to edit your Weebly website, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, where to do it, and how to get it done properly. So let's dive in. So right from your dashboard, you will see um, on the left hand side, you can click on website and you can click on edit site or you can go over to the right hand side and you can click on edit site as well. Now you could have more than one site so your, um, your display might look a little bit different. What we're going to do here is for now I'm not going to add a domain but you can add a domain thereafter once you're done building your site. Now, the important thing here is to understand how the editor actually works. So first of all, at the very top of each and every page, all right, will be a section. So on your main page, your first page, you'll have a header. If you double click on this header, you can change some settings about how it looks. So you've got a drop down menu on the left hand side over here. That's what it will look like. You can now navigate to all of your pages. And over here, it says my site, you can change this to a logo, you can keep it as text, you can edit that text, and then you can also just turn it off completely. And on the right hand side, you'll have the icon, which will allow you to search within your site, which you can turn on and off. Then just below that, you'll have your header section. Now, once you click on this header section, there's a few elements here. First of all, there is text. There's an image and then there's a background image, which is your header section, your header background. So that's this main image over here. Once you click on it, just over here, you'll see you can edit the background and then you can replace the header layout. Over here, it says choosing a new layout will delete all contents in the section. Do you want to continue? So if you say delete, you'll have to uh, go ahead and look for another header layout. For now, I'm just going to say cancel. And the same way that you treat any other element on the rest of this page, you can go and click on it and it'll bring you some options. Right at the top, it'll also tell you what type of element it is. So this currently is an image and you can replace the image. You can edit the actual image. So if you click on edit, if you give it a second to load, you can crop, add filters, adjust all of its settings the look and the feel, you can add text to the image and then you can also change the focus and then you'll just click on save once you're done over there. You can also do the same with text. Once you click on a text box, you'll see some formatting options pop up such as bold, italics, underline. You can change the size as well as the style. You can embed a link, the alignment. You can change what it looks and feels like over here. Once you go down, you can continue to click on every block that's been added here and you can edit them all appropriately. So just this over here, this is a button so you can change the style, the text position, link and spacing. This link will take you to wherever you direct it to. And then when you are clicking on something, you can also see that there are some options. So this one over here, if you click on it, you can move or copy it to any one of these pages here. You can also see that once you hover your cursor over here, you can remove this section completely or this block. You can also click down on this section and you can move this to the appropriate place on your page. As you go down your page and your site, you'll see all of the elements that you can fully customize. But let's say that you would like to add additional blocks in here. We're going to go and on the left hand side, you'll see there's basic, structure, media, e-commerce and a bunch more. So all you'd need to do is click down on any one of these blocks and drag it over to the section that you want it in. Now, once you've moved it in here and you want to move it again to a different spot, again, all you'll need to do is hover your cursor over there and just click down and move it about. So let us add an image over here. So we're going to click down on this and drag it in. You'll see now that this block has been added in. So if you click down, you'll see you can select an image from your computer or you can use an image URL. I'm going to go ahead and just upload from my computer. You'll see now that this image is just in over here. And again, if you click on it, you can edit everything about this actual image. You can also go up to the top 
of your menu there's pages which you can customize as well so if you go into each one of the pages you can edit and customize all of the settings for that page you can also change your theme up here so there's theme fonts and then some additional theme options you can embed or integrate apps as well from the app center and then you can also change the general settings of your page or your website altogether. So you have all of these settings on the left hand side from this menu that you can go through and completely edit and customize. Now there's also a help tab which you can add in onto your website. So if you have a support center or a structure, you can add that in over there. Now once you're done, you're going to go ahead and exit without saving by using the top left X or by clicking on publish when you are done and ready to publish.